today on CBS is presented by Jeep. There's only one. And welcome back to the NFL today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Packers and the Steelers. Let's throw it out to Pittsburgh with our announcers, Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, and Evan Washburn. JB, it's a series that dates back to 1933. Between the two organizations, 10 Super Bowls. Week 10 of the season, Green Bay trying to stay in the playoff race. And Mike Tomlin once again has the Steelers in the thick of it in the AFC. In fact, every team in the division as of today would be in the postseason. And we welcome you to the broadcast booth. Ian Eagle, Charles Davis, Evan Washburn joins us down on the sideline. Steelers, 3-1 and one in their last four games. They're grinding out victories. Is it sustainable? One excellent sign for Pittsburgh. They finally got that running game rolling. Yeah, they're not just talking about having a running game. You're exactly right. It was established against the Tennessee Titans. The former first-round pick, Najee Harris, found some room to roam and finish runs with that big frame of his moving forward. And how about Jalen Warren, undrafted out of Oklahoma State. When he gets on the field, he provides energy and juice as well as really good play. That helps their quarterback, Kenny Pickett. We know about the fourth quarter rallies. We know about the late comebacks. They want to get things established early. And earlier this year, their number one receiver, George Pickens. When it was time to throw the football, they found the big guy downfield often for big plays. But since the reemergence and reinsertion lineup of Deontay Johnson, he has taken over the lion's share of targets. They've got to find a way to create the big plays for Pickens again downfield while still feeding Deontay Johnson. As for the Pittsburgh defense, we send it over to Evan. Yeah, I mean, statistically speaking, this group maybe doesn't match some of the greats of the past here in Pittsburgh, but they are the reason this team has defied the numbers and gotten to 5-3. and three. And talking to Mike Tomlin about this group, he said they have an appetite for the big moments, and they are completely cool with having the responsibility of winning this team games as this offense continues to grow. Well, they're going to have to do it without three starters in this one. Most notably, Mika Fitzpatrick, he'll miss his second straight game with that hamstring injury but guys we know no matter who's in there the standard it's the standard <laughs> that it is Packers trying to win back-to-back -back games for the first time this season they've got a first-year starting quarterback in Jordan Love what's the evaluation look like for Love it's been up and down throughout this season some good some bad but when he's at his best the eyes stay up against the pressure and look at that sidearm throw with accuracy and when you're throwing it well you start to get help downfield. Luke Musgrave elevates and takes that ball out of the air for a big gain. And how about the patience of Jordan Love there? Fake one, fake two, and then down the middle to let the play develop. So when he's at his best, we see plays like that. A healthy Aaron Jones has made a big difference as well. Last week in a win over the Rams, 24 touches, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Countdown to kickoff continues from Acrashore Stadium. It's the Packers and the Steelers. We'll get it all started. Coming up on CBS.